filmfestivalcircuit.com. We've got our fall 2022 film festival slate happening in November, and we are excited to screen several uh, events in November alone on the film festival circuit, two of which, Austin Comedy Film Festival and Austin After Dark Film Festival, both in Austin, back-to-back days. Uh, we've got a film called Limbo that's going to be screening in both and has been nominated for awards um, best Dark Comedy Film Award nomination in Austin Comedy Film Festival and a Best Picture Award nomination in Austin After Dark Film Festival. We're joined by one of the producers, John Stone. Hey, John, how are you? Great. How are you doing, Michael? Excited to screen your film and excited about the festivals coming up, that's for sure. Likewise. Can you please give us an idea? I don't want to give away the ending, um, but I want people to understand the synopsis and, and what it is they will experience at the theater in Austin. Uh, so Limbo is a film about a man named Dante who wakes up in a waiting room that he discovers to be purgatory. He wants to get out and go to heaven, but first he has to get through the gatekeeper, Jenny, who instructs him to write down all of his sins in order to repent. When he thinks he's finished, he gets very <clears throat> he gets very frustrated when she refuses to let him leave. But she provides some sinister clues in order to help him realize why he's there. And little by little, he realizes that the reality of his situation is far worse than the slight in his ego. <laughs> All right. I like it. Well, during the production of this, um, I want to ask you just one question is creative and the other one is more like, you know, the actual production of the film. But creatively. Why did you get on board with this story and what is it creatively that maybe, you know, inspired you to spend your time, effort and energy helping this, you know, go to screen? Uh, well, I think I had been kind of stuck as a screenwriter who hadn't had any experience on set. So I think that mm. hearing about this opportunity provided me with a chance to break free from, you know, the page and kind of figure out how something is turned into an actual film. So really got the wheels going for me all right and production wise um i i always i always say that every film is a little piece of film school um what did you learn on this production uh well there was a lot that i learned i think most importantly it was just how much of a team effort filmmaking really is and how grateful you have to be to even complete a film because there's so many moving parts and it really is a marathon. You know, we had long film days. We certainly had a long post-production period. So it just provided, you know, a lot of time to build patience and trust in the team and just let the creativity flow in the best direction. Mm. So let me ask you, how did you find your actors in this? Uh, we started with local casting agents. Um, there are a couple agencies in town, and uh, once we got through to them and we shared the script and some sides, they were willing to help us find um, our lead actor, Sam. And then we found uh, one of our supporting actors, Bruce, through Radical Talent, which is a great agency here in Denver. And mm. surprisingly, Facebook actually helped as well. I don't use social media very much, but there are some forums that members of my team went on, and we were able to set up some casting calls through that. Nice. What do you have planned in the future after this film? Where are you going? I hope to get into long form narrative. Um, I have a TV series that I'm trying to develop. It's based on, um, you know, kind of the cannabis culture here in Denver. And it was shot on location last fall. Large crew, about 24 actors, nine locations. Took about oh, wow. three months just to do the pilot. So here I am as the writer trying to figure out the next few seasons, outline all those for my Bible, and then, you know, try to take it shopping. All right. Good stuff. Well, it sounds like you're busy making great content. You definitely make us look good on screen with these. So congrats on your accomplishments in both Austin uh, After Dark and Austin Comedy, and also in Portland Comedy as well. We're going to be screening you up at the Portland Comedy Film Festival Fall 2022. So you're finishing strong. Thank you so much. Circuit. Thank you you're so much. You're very welcome. And uh, I would like to just say thank you to yourself for having us. Thank you to the judges at both the Austin festivals and, of course, the Portland Festival, just enabling us to get our work out there and show, show it to an audience because I think that's the most important part. We create these things and, you know, we get all self-conscious about it. But in reality, without getting the audiences in front of them, it's kind of meaningless. So that's really what makes it go the distance. And then big shout out to the team, you know, Joel, Tony, the rest of our crew. And our great actors, Sam, Bruce, Crystal, and Aaron, 
So thanks to everybody. Right. Well, I appreciate the kind words and uh, definitely a great team effort. Judges have a lot of respect for what you're doing, and we can't wait to show it. We're proud to screen it in Austin, so thank you. Awesome. Proud to be there. Have a good one. Take it easy. Bye.